I did see some tweets regarding Crunchyroll committing felonies. There's some email, not email, fan letters, fan gifts, this specific voice actor involved, and Crunchyroll doing some shady stuff as usual. Chibi, let me know what's happening. And Crunchyroll committed a felony and stole fan mail from huge voice actor for five years. Classic. Crunchyroll committed a crime, and not just any small crime, mail theft, aka a felony. That was not on my bingo card for this year, for 2024. Crunchyroll and their employees to commit a literal felony by stealing someone's mail, aka their fan mail. Their nah, they got two months left. They got November and December to top this up. I believe Crunchyroll can escalate this and surpass a felony. Private mail. I, when I saw this, I'm going to be honest with you. I had to do a double take. Like, I, 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 I took a look at this and I was just like, there's no way this is legit. Like, I, I, there was a part of me, a percentage of me that wanted to truly believe deep down that I, yes, I know Crunchyroll isn't like L, L. a good company. They've done a lot of bad things. Pretty shit service to my, in my opinion. And I'm, I'm not that surprised. I think that like a lot of shady stuff is happening behind the doors in these corporations. All you see are public statements, very clean PR emails and, you know, um, letters to the public. But at the end of the day, you have no clue how these companies operate behind the scenes. I mean, just look at <laughs> and I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally streaming on the platform that's in heat right now from literally ADL like Apparently, adpocalypse might happen. There's some crazy shit happening. If you haven't been keeping up with, you know, a certain bald man being banned on Twitch and a set of domino effects has been going on. And Twitch is also in hot waters right now. There's a lot of shit going on, but keep going, GB. Especially this year, a lot of bad decisions. But I truly didn't want to believe that their employees and probably a good chunk of them would actively go into a voice actor's fan mail. Yep. Steal their mail. Five and years. Then distribute it amongst the employees there and then after many years of this happening the voice actor finds out about it and that is honestly so gross i don't even know what more i could really say about this but let's let's talk about what's going on here okay. so to confirm mail fraud is mail fraud a felony well one quick google search is mail fraud a felony it is, at least under the United States, you know, Constitution, you know, the uh, how crime and stuff is handled in the United States. It is definitely considered. So if there is an Amazon package just sitting on a porch and someone else shows up and steals it and gets caught doing it, is that mail fraud? And does that mean you get 250k in fines? a felony and obviously this crime took place in the united states so yes what crunchyroll as a company and their employees did was actually considered mail theft slash a felony so aka what just happened here i never knew how serious mail fraud really was genuinely i thought I, it's definitely shitty you, you shouldn't do it but the significance of the punishment like this is like they're not fucking around it's something i just did not expect them to be able to commit or what they would do and if you're wondering who david is this individual right here he is a very prominent and well-known voice actor you know i'll pull up his wiki here this is what he's been working on over the years he's been working on I'm sorry, man. I hardly ever watch English dubs. That's why English dub voice actors I'm unfamiliar with, but I'm sure he is a very great one. Anime since 2005 from his brief wiki. You can see who he's voice acted over the years. These are huge names. Psychopaths, Akamega Kill, Full Metal Alchemist, Attack on Titan, Fairy Tale. These are A-list series. He's voice acted over the years, and he's... He's worked My on a lot hero. of characters. Like, he has voiced a lot of characters, some One minor, piece, some major. Dragon Ball. But he's worked on a lot of characters. So, he's Vinland, definitely someone that is very Hell, active within Gintama. the anime industry. He's definitely worked with Crunchyroll and Funimation for a very long time. So, getting into the meat of this situation, David is someone that isn't a small VA. He is someone that is very well established, someone that has a massive career and a legacy, almost a two-decade legacy within the anime industry, making content for anime. So the fact that he made a public statement like this could be very bad if he was lying, so to speak. So him making a public statement. Yeah, like imagine that it's actually all fake news. No, there is no way. If it was, that would be even crazier shit going on. 
based on the amount of feedback, and it's just a Twitter, it's just a tweet, right? But there's a lot of support from other prominent, you know, figures in the same industry, and he seems to be very adamant about like, yes, I have the receipts, I have direct proof, and I believe it. Like, it's definitely possible, knowing Crunchyroll, what they've done, their behavior, does this kind of align with the activities that we're seeing here? I could see it. Like this, accusing Crunchyroll and even showing proof with some stuff that was stolen from him definitely leads me to side with him and believe his statement. These accusations most likely are correct because this would legitimately be career suicide if he was lying about this. Like, mm. actually. There is like a small chance that it could be like a disgruntled employee that doesn't give a fuck about their career anymore and wants to just burn everything that they, um, burn everything down as they make an exit, but I doubt that. This would be the end of his voice acting career. This would be the end of him having any other contracts potentially in the anime industry because of this. And even then, even if all this is true and he is correct and he's talking about this and Crunchyroll is 100% in the wrong, this still could damage his career because obviously you're going to have other companies take a look at this and they're going to be like, maybe we don't want to work with him because he's going to snitch on us or he's going to cause us problems or whatever. Yep. He'll be problematic. That's a huge you know stance. how these things go. Companies look at that regardless if you know the person's in the right or not and they might choose not to work with that individual because of the problems that they obviously caused in their other company. And that's one of the most unfortunate things about corporate structures where if you speak out, and even if you're all in the right to do so, it ends up closing doors for opportunities in the future as other companies sees you as a whistleblower or some sort of, you know, person that's a little bit volatile or willing to, you know, say the truth. And it's like, God damn, fuck me for saying the truth. Fuck me for, you know, figuring out what's happening with my fan mail. It's been happening for five years. It's all been just going away and I speak out against it. And now other people may not want to work with me because I spoke out. It just feels so dystopian even if it wasn't necessarily their fault. So I do think that this is definitely going to have some damage to his career, maybe positive, maybe not, we'll see. But regardless of whatever the case may be or whatever direction David goes with his career in the future, the point of the matter is, is he has all rights to speak up about this. He has all rights to literally call out Crunchyroll for theft of his fan mail, his private mail, and request it back. If I was him, I would be unimaginably pissed. Mm. I would be very... Five years worth of stuff, gifts, fan art, you name it, all being sent to him. And he had no idea. And imagine the lack of acknowledgement and the responses from this voice actor to their fans who are eagerly waiting on some sort of signal that, yes, they got my gift and they're, you know, happy about it. Like... I wonder how many fans thought like, damn, this guy kind of sucks. Like I sent him all this shit and there's not a single sign of acknowledgement because he never got it. He never had it. And then the weirdest shit is, look at this. Below is a photo of the complete contents of one of the packages. One of the packages addressed to me that was opened and distributed to employees. Like what? What do you mean? So there's fan art. Of like this kind of like almost like VTuber like model for this like voice actor, I guess. I'm not sure if this is different anime characters that he's played, but this is clearly for him. And then Crunchyroll, one manager is like, yo, we got a new male boys. Uh, pick him up. It's in the fucking cafeteria. Like, why would you distribute to your employees? And the employees think like, oh, cool. Free merch. Like, what are they thinking? Very pissed if someone stole my mail, my fan letters. And fan mail is very special. As someone that has received a lot of fan mail from you guys over the years, and I have literal bags of them of your guys' letters. I will never do fan mails. Nope. All it takes is that one crazy motherfucker to add some poisoning or some sort of letter bomb. Mm -mm. Nope. I will never allow any opportunity for that to happen. Uh uh. Ain't fucking around. No fan mail. It is a very special feeling to be able to open up a letter from someone and just see that they put enough time and dedication out of their day to be able to write something or put something together to be able to send you. It's a very magical moment to show what kind of impact you had on someone and their life. And it really just goes to show that anything you do and the effort you put into like whatever content you make, YouTube videos or even voice acting, it does benefit someone to some yeah, degree. And it makes nice. you continue striving and continue doing what you love. For sure, right? And, you know, having the fans be appreciative and show their appreciation through these fan mails, that's great. That's, that's amazing, right? It, it, it's, it's, really, it's very wholesome. But what I'm saying is I just don't want to give even 0.00001% chance of anything fucked up happening. 
uh, I know that I can set up a PO box. I know that, you know, there's laws and regulations put into place such that, you know, anything like that couldn't just happen where I get a letter and I just die. But I, I'd still, you know, ready perfectly. Very cautious. You guys as the fans have always been one of the big pushing reasons to why I'm even here and why I'm able to be happy. And so getting into the reason of David's complaint here and him wanting his fan mail back, I fully understand his emotions. I could not imagine how it must feel, but I would be pissed, so pissed, if my fan mail was stolen and I found out five years later it's been being stolen from me for five, five years, years. bro. I'd be so angry. Like, my anger, oh my goodness, dude. And so seeing this, he has a right to... Call out Crunchyroll for this, even if... Oh, and we will be there to cover the news. And, like, what's going to happen? Is he going to pursue a lawsuit? I mean, he's in contact with Crunchyroll. I mean, he's putting them on blast right now. What kind of statement? Will they release a statement? Maybe it'll be, like, a behind-the-doors kind of settlement where Crunchyroll will pay David off and be like, you know what, let's just, shh, just delete all those tweets, take the money, and we'll just act like it never happened. This could uh, uh, potentially lose him some work and all that in the future with some voice acting contracts, Crunchyroll 100% needs to make official statement and apologize for this. I will be very, very disappointed in Crunchyroll if they don't make official statements, trying to say that they don't approve of this type of behavior, of what was taken from David, and that they condemn these employees, basically saying that, no, they this is not allowed and all that. Whoever did this needs to be fired, straight up. Like, th this, is, this is a felony. They committed a felony, okay? And if Crunchyroll stays silent on this and they say nothing, it basically says that Crunchyroll is completely fine with mail theft. That, that I feel like... What... Okay, ethics, morals aside, what is the right thing to do? Apologize. Absolutely. But think from the business perspective. Think from Crunchyroll's perspective and how they can best kind of do damage control. An apology pretty much confirms fault and it makes them look bad. They already look bad, but, you know, admitting faults, sometimes, most of the times, it's not a good idea. It's actually better to just shut the fuck up and just keep silent about it. And while people like us will make some news and make some buzz online, no one's going to remember this in two weeks. Straight up. Like, how much online drama do you think is just so important in the heat of the moment? And in two weeks, ain't nobody remembers shit. Because people, they don't actually care about this. Do I actually care about this? I don't know the person. I'm not going to be sitting here saying I'm so personally invested into this. Oh my God, damn with Crunchyroll. But I can acknowledge that this is very fucked up and something should be said about it. But from a company's like damage control perspective, they may just shh. And in two weeks, like, I don't know. But then again, you know, the mail fraud or like the mail theft. I didn't realize exactly how significant of punishments is associated with mail theft. Truly didn't even know. So. Maybe more, more noise will be made. That is 100% what it looks like. So Crunchyroll, I know this news just broke a few hours ago, so I understand not making an instant statement. That's completely fine. It's also very understandable that it is the weekend. Obviously, yeah. a lot of companies... Yeah, the timing is a bit... You should have done this on a Monday. We do, why do it on a Friday? They got Saturday and Sunday to be like, yep, it's not business day hours, and then on Monday happens, and still nothing. If you're like, yo... Yep, it's, it's, it's one business day. You should have done this on a Monday. Companies don't work on the weekends, AK, because only business days for the week. So I can understand that they may not make an official statement tomorrow or Sunday. Crunchyroll has been going down a downward spiral for a while now. Like, legitimately. Like, they have done, like, some really bad stuff this year with, like, canceling the comment section, mm -hmm. removing comments from, like, news articles removing and shows. reviews and stuff. You know, over a few bad eggs on one episode when there's thousands of episodes on the platform of right there was that yaoi anime there's a lot of homophobic comments being made crunchyroll didn't even want to pay or figure out a solution for the moderation deleted just the comments section entirely what else they've been removing shows even though their value proposition of the services honestly the value proposition is going down their subscription fee is going up there's some shady shit happening all over the place a lot of crunchyroll just does, does not does not look good constantly they fuck up with subs and yes you know for the ReZero stuff they fixed it immediately but still it's just like you made the problem then you fix the solution and you expect us to be thankful Crunchyroll they legitimately just they keep making a lot of bad decisions to bad localization to improper translations yep. you get the point so 
Crunchyroll, I'll hold my peace fully on everything, but as a company, you have a right to make an official statement on this. If you don't, Boston, don't do it. That's not good. This makes you look really bad. I mean, they already look bad. Do they give a fuck? It's going to be very interesting because like, if they just keep quiet about this for two weeks, then what? I bet no one's going to remember. So, David, I don't know if you'll... We have a brand new student coming into the class. They're under recording of a video in all caps, begging for the next total video. Even you can recognize that you're being a monkey right now, right? So I'm going to send you on a tweak vacation. Hopefully during that time, you can figure it out. Watch this video. I don't know if you'll even notice this video, but if somehow you do come across it, I'm with you, man. I, I feel for you. I'm very sorry. This is not okay. You 100% should get your mail and fan mail back. Will you get it back? I want to be blunt with you. I don't think you will. If it, this has been ongoing for five years, then there's probably a lot of this. There is no way to keep a receipt of everything. And if it was distributed to different employees, you think those employees even still fucking have it? There is no way there's going to be all the fan mails and stuff that's been gone for five years to return. But a public announcement, some sort of apology to admit their faults and, you know, settle shit and just move on would be a very nice move. But keeping quiet and acting as if this never happens may be in the best interest for a company. Remember, I'm not saying like this is a good thing. I'm speaking tactically from the perspective of a company on how to do damage control, right? Don't think about ethics or moral. Think about what's logical to them. I'm not sure, man. This has just been permanently lost, which is just, that's devastating. That's a very devastating statement to hear, but that's definitely most likely the case. Like, if this has been happening, there's no way someone probably kept your letters and stuff without probably tossing them out or losing them or getting damaged. So, yeah, um... I'm sorry to hear that, but I do hope everything is recovered, at least as much as possibly can. And, um, yeah, I mean, I know you're putting your career at risk for even making a statement like this, but... Th That's the scariest part. But he has such a presence and a portfolio of such notable titles, right? You've seen all the different anime titles and the different characters he played. I'm sure he's going to be fine, but it is scary when you go out to kind of like... Get your voice be heard on an injustice being done, but that in turn makes you perhaps into a brand risk because of the company sees that, oh, you're talking shit about, you're not talking shit, but the fact that you are now associated with this quote unquote volatile situation makes you seem like a brand risk and it's, they just don't, you might seem like a liability. That's the fucked up part. This, this is 100% what should be said. You should make a statement like this because this is what they did here. This is not okay. I'll leave it. I hear Oshinoko. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening at Oshinoko, but we'll figure it out for ourselves in the anime seasons. But hey, please go give Mr. Chibi a like. Here's the link to the video. And if you're still sub to Crunchyroll, what are you doing, bro? What are you honestly doing?